All right, so chilling here with uh, Lady Shan. Uh, make sure you guys tune in to come box with Shan. Make sure you tune in. Rah! <laughs> hey guys, hey guys. Um, so I've got to do my post fight little breakdown of Vasil Lomachenko versus um, Jermaine Ortiz. Is his name Jermaine? His name better be Jermaine Ortiz. His name better be Jermaine. Um, we'll just say Ortiz in the booties in. I'm sure his name's Jermaine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, his name's Jermaine. Because <laughs> for some reason, uh, it's weird, Jermaine Ortiz. It's not, I'm not, I'm not, I've only seen two fights with him. This is including this one. Last fight I saw him was when he retired Jamel Herring. And, okay, so... Round one, Jermaine Ortiz comes out. So, let me just stop here as well, absolutely. I gave this fight a hard time because I thought that this was his, Vasily's uh, ongoing sparring partner. He, he just sparred for one camp for the Kome camp for five weeks. Um, and that was it. It wasn't like a consistent uh, sparring partner. But anyway, round one, Jermaine comes out fast. Um, he's got this amazing snappy jab. He's a switch hitter, so he comes out orthodox. Snappy jab, doubling up and tripling up on a jab. Loved it. Um, perfect form. Just sharp, just speed, accurate. <clears throat> and he was hitting Loma in some nice, decent combinations. Um, not really letting Loma get in his rhythm when Loma would get in his rhythm. He would, like, tie Loma up <laughs> as the bigger dude, you know, 26 years old. Totally, like, room to be a couple weights more up. Um, Loma at his limit, bless him. Um, not that physically gifted as in h height and stuff. But, you know, can't have it all, can you? Um, his corner kept going, jab, jab, make sure you jab. And the jab was very well established uh, for a while. As I said, he was offloading a lot of punches, not letting Loma catch him too much uh, and just moving out of Loma's way and keeping Loma at bay. Um, Loma did look a tiny bit frustrated, but, you know, Loma did say um, that this guy is, is very good. Um, like I said, Jermaine's output was very fast. The first few rounds, I had, I had Jermaine up. Literally the first, I want to say the, the first three rounds I had Jermaine up. And then I think I gave Loma one of the, one of the, after that, either around four or five, something like that. I gave Loma that. And then I gave Loma, I'll tell you what. I'd say out of four rounds, I think I gave Loma one of those four rounds and Jermaine Ortiz, the, the, uh, the remaining three. Um, now, Jermaine was, he, 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 he was fluid. He, like, I couldn't really fault this geezer. He's going to be a problem. Um, but was there a, did any, was there any blood? Did anybody clash? No, there wasn't any blood in this fight. There was so much in all the other fights. Sorry, I'm getting confused. Um, but what, what began to happen is, Loma was, ta I was like, oh, Loma, you don't want to do another T.O.? Where, you know, Loma's notoriously known as a slow starter. But I was like, you don't want to be so slow off the mark. But Jermaine was very fast off the mark. But then the tables turned. And Jermaine's output started to dwindle. I noticed it started to dwindle, I would say, from round six. Um, um, yeah, his, his punch output was less. The round that Loma kind of took, 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 took a round off. But it was still... He was still had more punch output than Jermaine. The pace did slow down considerably for Jermaine, which his corner was very um, frustrated. It was like, hit first, hit first. Because in, in the end, what happened is Jermaine just started to stand right in front of Loma. Like, I, I, I didn't get it. I, I really didn't get it. It was literally, he was letting the fight slip right out of his hands. It's like he just basically blew his load and he couldn't do much anymore and then Loma started to because at first he was negating <clears throat> all this matrix style and what I've noticed is Loma with the bigger guys can't get off 
this matrix style. It's totally nullified. Uh, you saw that happen with Teofimo Lopez. Um, um, Comey actually spun out Comey, but Comey's not that fast. So we saw not too much, a couple angles, but not too much angling at the, at least at the first few rounds of the fight. Like I said, Jermaine's output started to dwindle. You can see that Loma did have a bit of... Some people say, oh, people don't have ring rust. I, I, I beg to differ. This was a slower but still skillful Lomachenko with the bigger guy. And as uh, Jermaine started to slow down, Loma started to pick up pace. And by round six, like the fight was slipping out of... Uh, started from round six, the fight was slipping out of Ortiz's hands. Um, Ortiz is an amazing fighter, power, um, power enough, respectable power, it's not like no knockout artist, but respectable power, um, caught Loma with some nice fluid shot, fluid but sharp shots, that, I, I just keep going back to, I think Ortiz headhunted a little bit too much, and then, um, and then he kind of switched that up. He even negated his jab. Uh, he even neglected his jab after a while, and then picked it up towards the latter rounds again. And then um, Loma hit Ortiz with a couple of body shots, which started to you know. So then I saw um, Ortiz return fire with some body shots to Loma. Um, Loma started to kind of twist some certain angles on him and. Ortiz was in and out of um, Orthodox and um, Southpaw, which he did well. He was he, he he fought well in Southpaw, but he returned back to Orthodox and was starting to get peppered, um, you know, with like straight right hands um, consistently, consistently, consistently at this point. And um, yeah, Loma started to just get his way and get into his rhythm, which Jermaine was doing very well in the beginning of the fight. Disrupting Loma's rhythm by clinching him. Lack of uh, punch output. Loma was allowed to enter the gates. He was allowed to be in the inside and do what Loma does. And um, whereas before he was kept on the outside of those gates and he wasn't allowed in, you know. Um, but yeah, basically that was it in a nutshell. Um, I gave Loma round six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, I gave Loma round seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. And I gave him one of the earlier rounds. So I had Loma winning 7 5. Um, yes, it was a close fight. If Ortiz would have basically upped the ante and kept, the, kept his foot on the gas and not got tired towards those championship rounds, he, you know, it he could have scored a draw or even a win. One of the judges' scorecards was too, too wide, having Loma winning, like, seven rounds. And a couple other judges had it closer by, like, like two rounds, which is what I had it as. So, uh, I think the 115-113 for me was more fitting. Um, does this Loma beat Devin Haney? Mm, not in my opinion. I would have picked old Loma to have beaten Devin Haney. But now, this slowed down Loma... Whether it's to do with the war, whether it's to do with um, age, whether it's to do with a bit of both, it's whatever. Like We're not here to make excuses. But, I mean, Loma's a good fighter and it, the fact that he still pulled this out of the bag was a credit credit to himself. But a credit to Jermaine uh, Ortiz, like, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing him ruffle up the 135 division because he's a source... To, to to be a, 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 a source or a force. a force to be reckoned with this Sunday. Can't get my words out. Um, yeah, but I am going to discuss in more detail with the panel and crew on the weekly wrap-up show tomorrow. Halloween. <laughs> Will I be dressed up? Um, no, I doubt it. But, um, yeah, so don't look for it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Shouts out to Jermaine Ortiz. Um, I think he's ranked, like, number eight. In the in the in the is it in one of the sanctioning bodies? I want to say that I think he's ranked number. Eight. He's he's a good he's a good one thirty five pounder, and he's he's a big dude as well, and he's got some decent generous dimensions to go a bit further. So shouts out to him. So Vasily Lomachenko beats 
Jermaine Ortiz in a unanimous points decision. And that was what my prediction was in the prediction league. You unanimous. So anyway, I'm gone. Hey girl, it's Leah Desham, rep nonetheless. Come box with Shan. Gian. Ra. Lomachenko is back in the building. And then we're going to see him fight Devin Haney because Devin Haney entered the ring. Devin Haney was in the building. Um, and uh, Lomachenko said, Yuta, you, you lightweight, you look like heavyweight. De Devin was like, yeah, well, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll show you. Oh, mate. Yeah, so... um. That I forgot to state that. That was a funny one. Um, but anyway, like I said, see you tomorrow. Gyan!